Hey y'all, what's up? It's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be diving into my May hits and misses. So yeah, these are just all the products that I have been thoroughly enjoying for the month of May and also the ones that I just did not enjoy, things I did not like, things that did not work for me. Um, and we're just going to sit down and talk about it. So there's not that much explanation needed. That's what we're going to be doing. I really hope you enjoy this video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're just going to jump right into it. And there is one miscellaneous product I do want to mention before we get into the actual makeup portion of the video. So if you watched my April hits and misses, you would have heard me talk about that I have extremely damaged hair. And because I have extreme damaged hair, I try to take as good care of it as I can. I wash it one to three times a week, depending on what I am doing. I try all different kinds of leave-in conditioners, leave-in mists, a lot of different stuff. Um, and one product that I have really been enjoying for May is by the Good Stuff Company, and this is the Complete Repair Balm. So yeah, this is the Complete Repair Balm. It is a leave-in conditioner, and what I like to do is after I get out of the shower, I brush my hair, and I let my hair air dry. I never use a towel. I never use a hair dryer just because I don't want to further the damage or pull any of my hair out. So once my hair has air dried for a little bit, I go in with my spray first, which if you cannot remember, hold on, let me get it. So this is the spray I talked about in my April Hits and Misses. This is the Coconut Water Mist by Rim Pure Originals. It's a leave-in treatment. So the first thing I'll do after my hair is air dried for a little bit is I will spray this all over like you would a detangler and I will brush it through my hair. And then once my hair is lightly damped, whereas in it's not fully wet, but it's not fully dry, it's almost there, I will put maybe about a quarter size of this in my palm, rub it together, and run it through my hair. I can definitely tell a difference when I do not use this in my hair. For example, I went to Dallas for a family vacation, and I forgot this. I couldn't find it at the Walmart up there, and I really paid the price for it. it my hair felt totally different. This is amazing. I highly recommend it. For me, I can find this at HEB or Walmart. All right, so I have been thoroughly enjoying going to Marshalls looking for hidden gems in makeup. I always heard that Marshalls could be a hidden gem to find high-end products for an affordable price, but I just never went, but I decided to start going now, and I have been loving it. I have found so much makeup I love, and I have also found some beauty tools I love, and two of them being these Japanese sponges. So these are just cone Japanese sponges. I believe they were $3.99 at Marshalls. And I have been loving them. I know they sell them at Ulta. I'm not sure for how much. But for $3.99, you can't beat that. And they get so big. I believe this one is still damp. This one is pretty much dry. They get so big. They're so soft. They blend in things flawlessly. So these are amazing. So I actually didn't realize I do have one more miscellaneous product to talk about before we get into the actual makeup part. So something I have been really loving is this My Magic Mud Whitening Activated Charcoal Toothpaste. And I have the flavor Spearmint. So yeah, this is activated charcoal toothpaste. It is no SLS, no glycerin, no gluten, no GMO, and it is vegan. So y'all, I was born with really bad teeth. I've always had really bad teeth, so they've never been white. They've always been like a dark white, like they haven't looked good. I have ugly teeth. I'll just say it, I have ugly teeth. So I'm always looking for ways to better my teeth, and I actually saw Juicy Jazz do an either shop with me at Marshalls or shop with me at TJ Maxx, and she found this. She said her and her boyfriend use it, and it's amazing. So I decided to give it a try. I got it for me and my husband, and then I also got the May Magic Mud Charcoal Infused Toothbrushes. And y'all, this made a difference in my teeth the first time I used it. Promise you that. I use it every single day, and my teeth have improved so much. So yeah, I'm not sure exactly like an actual store you can get this at. You can probably get it on Amazon, but I find mine at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. All right, so we are ready to get into the makeup portion of my May hits. And I'm going to start off actually with beauty tools. So the first thing I have been loving are these e.l.f. Line and Define eye tapes. Um, I believe I used this in my Ipsy video. Um, and in there I talked about that I used to use just regular scotch tape. Like I would use it on myself whenever I did my sister's makeup. I would use it on her eyes. I used it for her wedding day. Um, I just always used eye tapes. But I saw these and then I saw Juicy Jazz use them. And these are amazing. They're better than tape in my opinion. Tape, you know, it can get, um, what's it called? The tape almost feels like it gets moist, like from your uh, skin. Like it absorbs moisture or something. And it starts sliding off. Whereas these the whole time I was doing my eyes when I peeled it off it had the same sharp line effect as if I was doing the tape trick or I was doing my Neutrogena so these are amazing I highly recommend it I got mine at Target for I believe two to three dollars 
Next beauty tool I want to talk about is the Morphe M501 brush. This is an amazing highlighting brush. I use it every single day, every single time I do my makeup. I just think it gets the product on the brush very nicely. I think it blends beautifully. I don't ever have to go into with a stippling brush after to further blend it. All right, going into makeup, let's start with primers. I have three primer sprays and one primer, which is my holy grail at the moment. So the first primer water I want to talk about is this NYX Bear With Me Multitasking Spray. I love the spritz on this. I love the smell. Um, it almost smells like, to me it has like a cotton smell. But it's a multitasking spray. You can prime, set, or refresh, and it says it's up to an eight hour use. I really like it. I definitely judge primer waters based on their spritzer, just because I don't like a really dense spray. And this not only has a nice soft one, but it's a really long spray, which I like. Next up is gonna be this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Multitasking Spray. This stuff is really good. It has a nice spritzer on it as well. It almost has like a lavender scent, but I use this for priming and for setting. Love how my makeup looks after. The only thing is I wish it came in a bigger bottle. I've only used this a few times and I'm almost halfway empty, so bigger bottle Catrice, come on, bigger bottle, I love this stuff. The last primer water is gonna be this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Face Mist. This came out with their Crystal Cavern Collection, I believe it's called, and this stuff is awesome. The spritzer is a little more severe, but Mm, I love the smell. I don't know what that is. It almost reminds me of like aromatherapy, like going to sleep. Like, mm. All right, and my holy grail primer for the month of May is going to be this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Blur Primer. Y'all, this stuff has been amazing on my skin. So on the front, it says it's selfie approved, soft focus blur effect. It's a blurring primer, and I agree 100% with that. So when you open it up, it has a pump, which I really, really like. A lot of tubes like this don't come with a pump. It's usually a squeeze, but I really, really like that that comes with a pump. Putting it on, it does get really tacky. It almost feels like a glue, which sounds weird, but it almost feels like you are rubbing Elmer's glue on your face um, but this stuff was amazing I love it it definitely blurs everything and it helps with pores so much the makeup looks amazing on top of it so this stuff I have been using every single time it's been hard for me to try something else highly recommend it you can get it at Walmart go get yours for foundation this is one I've actually been dipping back into this is the covergirl full spectrum matte ambition foundation and this is actually hard for me to find personally. I can only find it at a specific CVS, but I, my Walmart doesn't carry it. I haven't found it at Target, only CVS. So I don't know if it's only at CVS. I should probably look that up. But for me, at least personally, it's hard to find. But this is a matte foundation, all day shine free foundation. It works beautifully on top of my face, blends flawlessly. It definitely doesn't accentuate my pores. I love this stuff. It works well with any other products I've put along with it. So I don't have a new concealer because I'm still very much in love with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I haven't been able to try anything else or go to any of my old favorites. That has been my top favorite. So that is still a favorite so far. But something that kind of has to do with concealer is this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix. Uh, you can get this at Walmart. It's actually an under eye treatment. Depuffs, brightens, smooths, primes, and moisturizes. And when you open it up, so when you open it up, don't know if you can see that, it's like a metal tip and it almost comes out a peachy color. So I don't know if you can see that. So it pretty much comes out a peachy color. And what this does for me is whenever I have to do my makeup very early in the morning, when I wake up, I have really puffy eyes and they get super red. I have really pink skin as it is. But when I wake up in the morning, my eyes are super puffy, super red. And so after I do my foundation, I actually apply this before my concealer. And this, along with the metal tip, is very cooling. It helps my eyes depuff. I hate that word. But it helps my eyes depuff. And when I put my concealer on top of this, it is not too heavy. It is not too cakey. They both work really well together. So if you have really puffy eyes, maybe you want to give this a try. Like I said, it is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Instant Eye Fix Under Eye Treatment. And you can get it at Walmart. My Holy Grail powder has been this Rimmel London Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. This stuff is amazing. I get mine at Walmart. I love this. There's no white cast at all. There is no flashback. This stuff is amazing. I use this to set my face. I use it to cut my cheeks. Love this stuff. It's funny, before I started YouTube, my Holy Grail translucent powder used to be the Cody Airspun, like the general powder that any makeup person uses. It's so cheap and for so much product. But this stuff has totally replaced it. I don't even know who Cody Airspun is. All right, bronzer. I have been loving this e.l.f. Mineral Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. 
this is just a nice light bronzer but it comes out with so much pigment I use this for bronzing sometimes if I just want a soft contour I'll go in with this as well and this stuff has been good so something I do now that I used to never do in my life is set my eyebrows with an eyebrow gel but I decided to give it a try and I have been loving it. So to do that, I have been loving two products. The first one is the Essence Make Me Brow and I use the shade, I use the shade Blondie Brows. I think this is like a general thing for a lot of makeup people to have too, but I have been loving this. I wanna say they make a bigger one as well. I love this to set my brows. It doesn't cake up, it blends out beautifully. Another one I have been loving is by ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel and I just get the shade Clear. And it's essentially the same packaging. It's a small little spoolie, run it through your brows and it sets them for the day. Let's get into highlighters because we have a lot. <laughs> so two highlighters that I really enjoyed that are gonna be a total shock, not only for you, but are a total shock for me, are these two by LA Colors that I got at Dollar Tree. So for those who watched my Dollar Tree video, you know it was a total fail. I was not one of those miracle people that was able to pull off a awesome look with the Dollar Tree makeup but these saved my face. Don't get me wrong, my face still looked horrible, but the only good thing that was on my face were these highlights. Y'all, these highlights were so blinding. Even after I finished the challenge, I decided to go in with my own Morphe brush, and they were even better. So I got the shades Shine Bright and Glow Time, and Shine Bright is a more champagne-y color. Let me open it up. So Shine Bright is more of a champagne gold color, and when you swatch them, they look really powdery. They don't look great at all but on the skin, they are beautiful. The next one I got was Glow Time, which is like a nice purple lilac color. I'm not sure if it's coming up well on camera, but it's a nice purple lilac color. Again, it looks really powdery, but these are beautiful on the skin. I highly recommend it. Once again, I got these at Dollar Tree. So recently, I had a Makeup Revolution order come in, and in my Makeup Revolution order, I got this I Heart Revolution Bronze and Glow Palette which comes with a bronzer and a highlighting shade. So it comes with the bronzer and the highlighting shade, and this bronzer is really good too, I forgot to mention this, but this highlighter is like a nice champagne gold color, and it is stunning. But what's even further stunning is in my order, I got the Rose Gold Glow Palette, which was sold out at Ulta for the longest time. That's why I had to order it online and wait for it to come from London. I had to wait for it to come, and in here you get a nice beautiful champagne color, but you also get this beautiful like pink lilac -y, almost like a what, what would you call it it's pretty much like cotton candy on acid um it's a beautiful soft light as can be icy pink color i mix both of them and i think it's the cutest color i love it it's actually what i'm using on my nose today and they're just so wet they're like oh my god so next up, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter, and this also came out with the Crystal Camera Collection. I believe this is limited edition, and this highlighter I thoroughly enjoyed. What I thought was awesome about it is it's almost like a putty. So it's soft, but it dries as a powder. It's super fun to touch, too. It's like a putty primer, but it's not a putty. You get what I'm saying? It's almost like a putty gel, but it goes on as a powder, so I'm not sure exactly what you would call it. But it is so blinding. It's beautiful. This is almost like a lilac-y pink color, if you will. But I have been really loving this. All right, so I got the box. You know what that means. We're fixing to head into the misses. All right, so let's just get right into it. Let's break the ice. The first one on my misses. Remember this? So if you've been watching my channel, I have a video where it was supposed to be a first impressions on the Profusion Spectrum palette and it was a fail. I'm really sad too because this is a beautiful rainbow palette. I've seen beautiful looks get created with this, so maybe it was just on me, but from my personal experience, it was a miss. Few of the colors would not blend together. It became a hot mess. The video turned into a whole different thing, so that's why this is a miss for me. Next up, the Profusion Spectrum palette brought us to, remember this one? When the Profusion video failed, I was actually really excited to be able to use this because it has beautiful color. Oh. There I am. <laughs> I created an okay eye look with this palette. However, for the price of this palette, there was just way too much fallout for me, and I hated the different pan sizes. I felt like the pan sizes were just so small that it created even more fallout. So overall, was this palette okay? Sure. Were the colors good? Sure. But there was just way too much fallout for this. I felt like I was wasting money, and I hate the different pan sizes. Next up, I didn't use this on my channel, but this is the e.l.f. Brow Gel in the shade Clear, and when I opened it up, I hated the little teeny tiny spoolie that it came with. It is just so flimsy and barely any product comes off of it and the product that does come off of it 
doesn't go on your brows because the spoolie sucks. So, no. Next, we got the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas Full Coverage Eyeshadow Base. This stuff I thought was going to be amazing because when I did apply it, it was pretty good. I could not use the brush that it came with um, just because so much product comes off of this brush. It's just, it's unrealistic to use this on your eye. But when I used a different brush to apply this, I thought it was going to be a really good eyeshadow base. But putting eyeshadows on top of it, it ended up being a hot mess. So that's why this is a dud for me. Next, we got the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. This stuff looked horrible on my skin. It did nothing for my skin. My skin looked worse than it did without makeup. It accentuated my pores so much, sunk into my fine lines. It was actually pretty tough to blend out. So I would never use this again. So this is kind of an in-between for me. I have reasons why this is a miss for me, but I also have reasons why it shouldn't be. So this is the L'Oreal. So this is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This is one with a bendable wand. And this is in here for certain reasons. So I thought it was really cool of L'Oreal to release a mascara with a bendable wand and explain what it's for. And that's all well and good. But me personally, I gave this a chance by not wearing falsies for a while and trying to use this with my natural lashes. And I did not see a difference with having it straight versus having it bent. Um, I thought it worked just like a normal mascara would. I didn't see any difference between using this versus like my Maybelline Snapscara. So the reason that this is a miss for me is because I don't feel like it did what they claim it should do. I just feel like it worked like a normal mascara. But at the same time, this is not a miss for me because it did work like a normal mascara. It wasn't a horrible product. It didn't clump up my eyelashes or anything, but it didn't do what it said it does. So it's kind of an in-between. And last product, this is actually something I forgot to talk about in April, so I'm talking about it now. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. If you watched my full face or first impressions makeup, I used this on top of my Dream Satin Liquid Foundation, and this gradually made my face so dark and I didn't get a dark color like I didn't get a dark color this is in the shade this is in the shade classic ivory but it made my face so dark like it got darker as I put on it oxidized something happened but I was so so dark I have never seen a product do that in my life I will never be using this again it's going in the no no bin so that is it for my makeup hits and misses and now we're gonna move on to my favorite part which is music so I love Spotify. I listen to all my music on Spotify and I have so many playlists for so many different occasions. I have my current faves. I have an old school. I have a vintage. I have Disney. So if you ever want to check out my Spotify, I will put it up somewhere around here. But yeah, let's see what we can find. So I think one of the most popular songs going around right now is Taylor Swift and Brendan Urie's Me. That song is so fun. It's so like poppy. I love listening to it in my truck in the morning when it's a beautiful day with the windows down, just jamming out to it. So yeah, this is Taylor Swift and Brendan Urie's Me. I promise that you'll never find another like me. I promise that you'll never find another like me. If you watched my April Hits and Misses, you know I'm obsessed with the show Star, and I'm so mad because the season finale was amazing. It was a huge cliffhanger, and they just announced that they have canceled Star. Not okay. So there's a huge Twitter thing like hashtag save Star season four. Please go hashtag it. Save this show. It is awesome. They cannot end the show on that cliffhanger. But in the final episode, there was this song called This and That, and it was at Alex's bachelorette party, and it is awesome. Okay, so the new Aladdin movie just came out yesterday, and Zayn and Shabaya singing A Whole New World. Y'all, that's so good. That's so, I've always loved Shavaya ever since the four. I love Shavaya's voice. When she did, what was that song she did? When Shavaya did Bodak Yellow on the four, girl. Mm. All right, let's see what else we can find. 
Ooh, okay. So if you watch Casey Holmes, if you follow her on her Instagram stories, she's been listening to Thoughts Not Feelings by Erica Costell. And I decided to go listen to it. This girl's a beast. I love this song. I don't know all the words, but it, it's still good. It's still good. Tell me why you're running, running from all of the people who give us me that you'd rather be along with your thoughts, not feelings. So yeah guys, that is all. That is it for my maze hits and misses. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is one of my favorite things to do on my channel and I'm definitely going to keep it up. So I really hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.